Yes, Monster Man. You need to dry those tears. What's up, Fun Duel? I do has the DLCs. I have not visited the DLCs yet. <laughs> All right, uh, Shaded Woods, I guess. Bear of the Ghosts, nest this not you. Yeah, there's so much confusion about Scholar though. There's like Scholar of the First Sin 64 bit DX11 version, and there's Scholar regular 32 bit, which is just DS2 with DLCs. Most people hear Scholar and they're thinking that uh, new enemy placements and all that kind of stuff, but I'm playing Scholar and I ain't got none of that stuff. Not the way I want to be going. Um, the only split is Scholar 64-bit version uh, is not compatible with any other version. So I can co-op with DS2 players, vanilla DS2 and all that, just not... Just nobody can co-op with the 64-bit version except for the other 64-bits. But I'm running 32-bit Windows, so I can't run 64-bit Scholar. I don't plan on upgrading to 64-bit anytime soon because of compatibility stuff. I run a lot of old games and whatever else. <clears throat> And Monster Man, I don't think you can uh, repair anything until you open up that uh, bonfire or the the guy in the town, <laughs> blacksmith. Hey, who are you? Scholar is the 64-bit version is actually a completely different version. Graphics, I mean, I know what you mean as far as small update. I, I, I remember you. But it's a completely different version. Don't you scare me like that. I thought you were him. That bastard. Oh, yeah, this guy. This <laughs> bright stone cave down the way. Cool, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go beat up Pate. I'll help you. Let's go. Like Let's go. For the good of the world and for my own honor. I won't let that bastard live another day. <laughs> I hate him too. Let's go get him. Alright, so the plan right now is to wander around the woods, get killed by the invisible guys. I can see him now. Come here, fucker. Come here. Hold still! Alright, now I'm completely lost. Okay. What I did last time was follow the left wall Whoop, item. <clears throat> until I came to an opening. So I was planning on following the other wall this time, but then I lost my way already. Hey! 
Oh, that's a phantom. <laughs> Where are you, dude? I can't see you. There you are. Come here. Don't hide. Ow, ow, ow! You guys are too good at rolling. I want to beat up lobster pate. I know I'm going. I'm going to get to eventually. Yeah, I've already been in these places, but I don't know. I don't know how many different paths lead out of this area. I found two of them, or you know, the original and this way and one other way, I think. Alright, made our way back here again. It's barely, barely able to see it better than you. Not much at all. Alright, one more pass. Actually, I was going to go check out this other path. There's three ways to leave out of this bonfire area. One's the foggy woods. One leads to... Get me a line. Oh yeah, one leads to the king's door. And one leads to somewhere I haven't been yet. I think this is the king's doorway. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Exploration this direction. What you want you know? Invisible guys are well designed because you get a glimpse and then they roll away and you, and you lose them again and then you know you gotta find them again and stuff so well done I think All right, this is the way I didn't go before if it's even a new way I don't know yes that is definitely somewhere I haven't been All right. Baba. Okay, back here. Alright. 
starting to figure out uh, the path, the routes through this area. I love how in Dark Souls games levels always loop back to themselves so you can it's a shorter way to get there or you can drop down to go back that sort of thing I like that stuff good level design from above it looked like this there was a hole right here in this statue head thing whatever it is Alright, here we go. What I'm really kind of uh, not looking forward to is those barbarian dudes with the axes. Don't like it. Those guys are mean. At least the last time I was here, he was a bitch. giant fucking frog. God, that's terrifying. Don't go in there. Alright. Not nearly as bad as last time, but whatever. They're still gonna kill me. Alright, boss fog or boss fog area fog, whatever. Well, we might as well. Wish me luck. Let's go. What are you doing, bitch? Are you stuck? Oh no. What? Oh! It's Quaylag's cousin! Go! Fuck. Does this help? I don't know. Looks like it did. Okay. What are you doing, bitch? One more. One more. Yeah! Nice. First shot. Whew. 
That was a cool boss. I like it. Boss required ahead. I guess she's got to pick you up or you got to get on top of her or something. I don't know. Whatever. Thank you, sir. Didn't seem like it was a really challenging boss, though, I guess. Y'all seen that movie, The Maze Runner? <laughs> it's just like it. This shit's going to close any second. Rusted Mastodon Helms. Mastodons, eh? Ten Prism Stones. There it is. I knew there'd be one around here somewhere. <clears throat> use a little more armor we're gonna use this Vi instead of the bastard sword. This could be our backup right there. I'll be around if you make it back. Bear seek seek less this More life. Okay, now. Doors of Pharaohs. Does that mean I need a bunch of lock stones, or does that mean they're gonna give me a bunch of lock stones? Don't know. I'm gonna fuck with this area a little bit more. Before I can move on. Because I really don't want to come back. I'm not a fan. Alright, this is how I got here. I believe. Yeah. It's funny when you hear phone message sounds when you're watching a video. I was watching my own videos and I uh, kept hearing my phone go off in the video. I kept thinking that my phone was actually going off. <laughs> so I gotta make sure I turn that down. Alright, treasure chest.
get some payback for when we ganked you that one time. <laughs> Dying to kill that giant frog, man. He just he looks like he wants a taste of this. Alright, they're not all crazy. They're just the mean face ones. Yeah, I'd probably lose in a fair fight, though. Okay, right there to get to the treasure chest. Got it. God, that guy's huge. He's so scary. back there, I didn't see. <laughs> I might need some. <laughs> nope, we're good. If I hadn't spent my other chunk, I would now be upgrading my greatsword to eight, but I fucking kidding. I use it on my armor. No. Oh. Okay. Nice yump. That is where the petrified people are. <laughs> That's an illusionary wall. <laughs> Lion Warrior Cape. Slow down there, Horn. <laughs> Cape worn by Lion Clan Warriors. The Lion Clan are an offshoot race that have no ties to humans and would murder anyone with the curious notion of approaching them. 
The lion clansmen seem to despise their own looks as they hate being seen. It reduces fall damage. Nice. Somebody tell me if effects like that stack. Like I got some a hat for items and a ring for item item fine, and then I got I don't know. I got the silver cat ring and the uh, cape. I don't know if the effects stack or not. And I don't think there's any way in game for me to tell like how to test that. Alright, so the only way through here is to unpetrify that guy, maybe? And to get that treasure chest? So we're probably gonna have to do that. Because there's nothing more important than treasure. The update, you mean as far as Scholar? Because I still have... This is just DS2 plus DLCs and they're calling it Scholar. Or do you mean an update as in like a regular update? Hi guy. Yeah, I figured. Hmm. We had item find as a stat on the other one. On DS1, yeah. I guess we got one here. Well, everybody's delay is massive, right? I mean, isn't it? Tra I mean, I see your words as soon as you say it in the chat. It just doesn't get to the video for like 10, 12 seconds, something like that. But that's for me too. You know, I'm playing the game and. You know, whatever I do is going to be displayed on the screen. Like, I counted like 12, 15 seconds, something like that. Lion Mage Robe, Cuff Skirt, Fragrant Branch of Yore. Well, cool, I just used a Branch of Yore to get this, so it's like I didn't even use one. Happy about that. I know there's another guy like this over on the other side and there's a bunch of people down here they have two definitely not enough for the four or five guys down there but alright now I'm lost let's see that was back to there okay I'm good Alright, booted. Well, I have Scholar of the First Sin, but I do not have graphics update. I do not have enemy, different enemy placements, and I do not have DX11. So, does this count as the update or no? Oh. Well, uh, yeah, I may have. Well, I see the chat whenever I look over at the chat. Because it's not overlaid on my game. I have to, like, glance over to it to see it. So that may be a delay. But that's not a real delay. That's just I haven't looked over at the screen yet. Well, I'm feeling like I've cleared out this area. Let's go down there first. See what's down here. I've been down here, but I was being chased at the time. So I didn't really get a good look.
Yeah, right there down. <coughs> Gotcha. So they did actually change something for the 32-bit scholar, besides just pack DS2 and the and the DLCs. I have no idea what that does, but I'm not sure. I want to find out. Maybe it petrifies me since that's. Ah, okay. I get it. Alright, so these guys don't need... I thought these were like the regular Petrify guys that I could do the branch of your with, but I guess not. So I just know one other guy that I can help out. And then he's going to try to kill me, of course. What the fuck are you? So this is the second time I've noticed like modern things in this game. There was a tower, tower of rubble at some point that had like a tire, like a car tire in it. And this doesn't look medieval to me. I'm wondering if there is some kind of time travel thing going on. Maybe even kind of like how you went back in time in the DLC for part one. Uh, okay. Thank you, Skak. I'm just gonna call you Skak. That's your name now. Dude, I wanna go up there. What the fuck? It looks fucking crazy. And there's a chest. Ah, uh, okay. So undoing this guy is how I get up there, I bet. Let's do it. And where are we going to fight at? This looks good. Bang key. Okay, that's that locked door down there. Nice. Which I think is over here. No. Well, it is over there, but not this side. So these updates since Scholar came out actually have improved the game. I mean, the, the NPC invaders and summons and something new does really make the game better or more amazing or what can y'all believe I haven't died in this area I know that's tempting fate should knock on wood but I'm not superstitious Sorry. <sighs> that's true <laughs> way too OP Oh god damn it, you guys. Oh no, wait! What? Oh, don't kill him! Oh fuck. Alright, so there's one thing I hate about DS2. You can't target around doors. So... The fact that I couldn't lock on did not tell me 
that this was an NPC. It just told me that DS2 lock-on around corners fucking sucks. Hmm. Well, that's the third NPC that I've whacked with my sword, but only the first one I've hit three times. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. We're gonna test. Oh, let me get my asses. I don't know why it keeps doing the human effigy on me either. I think that maybe when I fight a boss, it does that automatically. I know there has to be a way to fix that, and I was about to go just check and see if they forgot that I just smacked them, but since you say that... <sighs> hmm, let me think. If it's an NPC, it's an option that I haven't seen or that doesn't appear until you piss somebody off. Because I haven't seen anything as far as sins in this one. Not until later then, huh? Alright, well I'm not going to kill her, but there's an item down there too I want. Well, this is pretty much a death run, so I don't know what I'm doing right now. I've got souls. It's like enough for a whole level up. No, that's not a spoiler. That's kind of what I figured. Either like uh, beating the boss or walking into the boss. Yeah, I noticed that after several boss fights. Like I said, there's a lot of confusion about this. You have the 64-bit DSX version. I do not. But I'll prove it to you that I have it. And there it is. That means I have Scholar, right? Or I bought the DLC separate, but no. I, if you go to the Dark Souls 2... <coughs> Yeah, if you go to the regular Dark Souls 2 Steam page, it doesn't say Dark Souls 2 anymore. It says Dark Souls Scholar. There is no regular Dark Souls 2 anymore being sold. <clears throat> They're the ones that mislabeled it, not me. Because <laughs> I bought Scholar the first sin. Alright, what am I doing now? that item and then fuck off somewhere else. Hey, I'm with you, Booty, but that's not what they say. I say I have DS2 with DLCs. The website says I'm playing Scholar right now. That's, what's, that's what all the confusion is about with people. <coughs> Well, if I've never played the game before, then I wouldn't notice, right? Oh wait, this way. Yeah, 
Yeah, she might kill me, but I'm not gonna touch her. <laughs> Alright, bitch. Nice. I'm glad I came back. It's actually mislabeled on Steam. Look up Dark Souls 2 on Steam. There is no regular Dark Souls 2 page anymore. There is only Scholar of the First Sin. Two versions of Scholar. The one that you can see on Steam right now and the regular Dark Souls 2 page, which is 32 bit. And there's a 64. And only the 64 version has changes, which makes this super confusing to everybody. And I suppose it's Steam's fault for... What the hell was that? Ow! Guys! Really? On Steam, Dark Souls 2 is now called Scholar. Ouch. Well, I bought Scholar of the First Sin, which is DS2 with all three DLCs, for 40. I promise, it says Scholar of the First Sin. But yeah, I will change that on, on here on Twitch because there's no reason for me to be saying that I'm playing Scholar. Because that's going to make everybody think that I'm playing the, the one with the updates. I guess it's just raining. Okay. Alright. Two lock stones. Two lock stones to open the door, I guess. Where's my rusted iron ring? Well, I mean the Steam uh, page where you buy it. The web page. Those things are ugly. Oh, 
lock cells do I have? Just two. Twisted Barricade. I wonder what that does. What's up, JP? <laughs> I think we settled it that I'm not playing Scholar. <laughs> You're late to the party. At least in the minds of just about everybody, you know. Ow! Hey! Definitely do have all the DLCs. There's no way I would be playing this without DLCs. Oh! Good. No time that chunk. There's too many lock stones in this goddamn place. Alright, um, there's one over there too. There's two up here. Two down there by the door. I mean, I have a feeling they designed this area where you won't run out of lock stones. Like, you get more each place you use them or whatever, but... I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. There's another one. Okay. <clears throat> got one to burn if that one down there opens. If I need two to open the door down there, I got one to burn, so... And there's two here. Fuck! And one there, and one down there. Wish I knew, but don't tell me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for it. This one over here. Maybe it'll do something cool. Sucks. Alright, so I'm venturing a guess here, and I'm gonna say this is a PvP area, or like a rat covenant trap area kind of thing, and if you open all these locked doors with enemies behind them, then that'll give whoever's running through here a hard time. I don't know for sure, but seems like that sort of thing to me. Three! Ah, oh, fuck. Three of them. Is there anything even in there? Get out of the way, guy. Ah! 
Alright, so I wasted one lockstone. <laughs> or two, really, on the enemy and the part of this door. Once again, that helps with my theory of the PvP kind of thing again, because if you open all three, that guy can get out and fuck with people. I mean, I'm thinking this area is like one of the rat covenant areas because I think I've seen this area in PvP with uh, that Mayhem guys videos. Alright, this one was worth it. treasure. Ah, uh, that's a twin blade, huh? I'm guessing you unlock all these doors and you got all kinds of enemies coming out. Now, this is where I came in. It's a Kanger Tech. Which I suppose is like the best of the cheap ones. As far as I know. Another guy. Look at you. He's locked trying to get back. Alright. I'm thinking about uh, upgrading. Just because, I don't know. It's kind of a pain sometimes. And the Mini Pro Tank 3 does not hold shit for liquid. Alright, we're gonna check another path first here. What is this away? I should have just back attacked him anyway, huh? Dragon Charm! Uh, I guess the main thing is I really kind of like the compact. You know, this size as opposed to like the giant fucking fat ass cigar looking ones. I really do need a nice one. 
it's not too incredibly expensive. I shouldn't worry about the expense, you know, it's gonna be cheaper than cigarettes no matter how whoop, no matter how expensive it is. Nice. Lizards are bastards. I stick. My Kanger Tech has a uh, bottom, dual bottom coil, but it's really a bit too harsh. Hurts sometimes. I smoke it too much. Shut up, Monster Man. Didn't you get a vape? Brightstone Cove something. Monster Man vapes weed, so I don't know what the fuck he's talking shit for. You don't smoke real man's weed. I do have like three batteries already, but I'm gonna check out the Nautilus. My batteries are fine, it's just the. Uh, I need a better tasting and uh, more liquid in the tank and less harsh. Yeah, I will never go back to regular cigarettes, ever. Not in a million years. Those aren't little piggies. That's those little piggies, big brothers. Guess maybe I shouldn't have knocked that shit down, huh? Hopefully we'll be back next time. I 
Goddamn bonfire, guys. Where's it at? There it is. Full setup for me was only like... Well, you're in fucking Canada. Full setup for me. Three batteries. Two tanks. It was like... 60, 70. Yeah, well, you're still going to die of cancer. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have broke that. Alright guys, I'm really going to have to call this a day. I'm about three hours playing. Oh! Long tent. Sorry guys. But yeah, Nautilus. I gotta look up the Nautilus. I need a new tank. Hopefully it's not too expensive, but... It don't matter how expensive it is, really. Good talking to you guys. Come hang out again. We'll be back tomorrow. Peace.